Today, we're going to be flying on Alaska Airlines, leaving out of Anchorage over to SeaTac, Seattle, Tacoma, and then on to Phoenix, Arizona. This is going to be first class, and I want to give you a trip report, and let's see how they're doing. As a United Airlines loyal customer, I've been a little bit disappointed recently, and I heard a lot of great things about Alaska Airlines. So I decided to give them a try and see how it's going to work out. When I arrived at the lounge in Anchorage, it was considerably bigger than I had ever imagined it would be. They had the usual fully stocked bar, coffee, all complimentary of course, another section for coffee, and they do have some good Starbucks there. Real cups, which are something new, those have been out of commission for quite some time. You had tea, you had a juice machine, and the Coca-Cola machine with all those flavors. Now the salad bar was a real treat. It was a taco salad bar and had just everything that you would need, plenty of chicken, to have a healthy meal. And I was very, very impressed with that because you haven't seen much food in these lounges lately. Had an assortment of rolls, things of that nature, butter, if you were into that. But they had two different types of soups and I tried them both and they were excellent. The seating area over here is very conducive to phone conversations because it really mutes it when you sit back in there. The lounge up there has just beautiful views of the tarmacs out there and you can watch the planes taking off. There's even a fireplace in there, which I'm sure in the Alaskan winters is used quite a bit. Overall, very impressed with the lounge and very impressed with the people working in the lounge. Extremely friendly. So we headed over to board our flight here at gate C7 and down the jetway we went. There was a little bit of uh, confusion down there as some of the disabled people, and there were quite a few of them that got on, got delayed down at the bottom. So we ended up having to line up for a while, but no problem at all. Even the pilot had to wait. We got on board, greeted by a very friendly staff and moved over to have a look at our seats here. The seats, outstanding, very large and very comfortable with a 40 inch pitch on them. So no issue of room. And as you can see by the photos, or hopefully you can, I'm a pretty tall individual, six foot four. I had no problem with the leg room whatsoever. I know the plane was very spotless and you had power at both of your uh, seats. So that's definitely a plus. Although most of the planes nowadays do. Looked over that safety briefing for the 737 800 900 and noticed kind of the nice Indian type rugs that they had on the wall. Oh, we're about ready to go. Well, it was time to push back and we were on our way back to Phoenix with a stop in SeaTac, as I said before. We'll see how this goes. Using chewing tobacco and consuming your own alcohol are prohibited. Form at the forward lavatory. Please use the lavatory in the cabin in which you're seated. Make sure your seatbelt is fastened, your seat back and tray table are up. All bags and larger items, including laptops, are completely underneath the seat in front of you. Make sure you're unplugged from seat power. We hope you enjoy your three-hour, five-minute flight to Seattle. say on departure Alaska has some of the most spectacular views from the air the scenery along the whole flight which was pretty much really clear was just amazing and breathtaking
So the one hiccup on the flight was there was no meal service. There was supposed to be. However, the caterer had messed up and the flight attendant was actually quite embarrassed. She even showed me what the menu was supposed to be and it was going to be served on real china. Something you don't see on United or many of the other carriers now. I'd heard about them really stepping up the meals here. Apparently they did. She was embarrassed, as I said. She'd been with 30 years with the company, said nothing like this has ever happened to her before. So that's just my luck having it happen on my flight. Anchorage was quite successful and so now we are here at SeaTac and I'm gonna give you a tour of this lounge it's two years old I'm told so it looks very nice from what I've seen so far so let's go on in take a look at this and we'll I was very surprised also at how large the lounge was in SeaTac I mean the place is absolutely massive and they have great coffee bar area over there as you walk into the main portion of the lounge and additional coffee over to the side that has the flavored syrups. I'm not into that, but I know a lot of people are, and you can make an iced coffee if you want, whatever, and add your own uh, flavors to it. And lo and behold, another salad bar hit this one. You can definitely do some healthy eating in the Alaskan Airlines Lounge. Again, it's good having food back. Plenty of chicken in there for you. Could have used a little bit of a wipe down and clean up down there, but everything looked really sanitary. They had two soups over here also, fire roasted vegetable and lasagna soup with turkey sausage. Tried both of these again and they were excellent too. So I give an A plus for the meals that they're serving in there for your typical airline lounge. Bar area was very nice, bartender extremely friendly, complimentary for the basic uh, items that you get from there. But one thing I liked about this lounge the most was just some of the views and the seating. They had another fireplace with a big round seating area there. And there was no shortage of all different types of seatings for everybody, most of them having a great view out of the window. As you moved on down the area, the one thing that I really liked and thought was pretty cool that I hadn't seen really in any other basic lounges was they had reclined seating down at the far end. Really comfortable to put your feet up and sit back and look out that window. In closing, I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with Alaska Airline lounges. It's nice when you have plenty of space, plenty of seating, and some great selections for your meals. Some of the other lounges that I've been in do not come up to the Alaskan Airlines standards. On both of my flights home, the service was impeccable and Besides the mix-up with the no catering, all in all, they were really excellent flights. Great service, great drinks. So, so far, very impressed, and I'm definitely gonna give them a try. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, and maybe it gives you some insight on Alaska Airlines. So please do me a favor, and hit the subscribe button and make some comments for me. I do like getting the feedback. Thanks for watching Pat's Adventures. Look forward to you seeing the next video. Take care.